Olympic area of Kibra, the melting point of the last two days running battles between police and demonstrators. However, the situation now back to normal. The suit from the road, the only reminder of the chaos that ensued here after the declaration of Uhuru Kenyatta as the winner of the August 8th polls. <laughs> Stephen Ocheng operates a tire repair shop. His tool of trade, a fodder for protesters. Sounds of unrest in this area sends chills down his spine. <laughs> So, pia hiyo imetoa effect. Kwa ji customer atakuja hapa kesho aseme anataka tile yake, tutafanya aje. Itabidi tu tutulipe. Sasa unaoni hasara ya vita kitu inaleta. Eh, sasa peace tu ndio tunataka. His concern shared by many here who now seem to be asking for peace to prevail. Sasa saa hii tukiangalia pale watoto wetu nasoma Olympic primary. Ule. Na hakuna mtu ametoka nje ameharibu Olympic primary. Ni sisi wenyewe ndio tumeharibu shule. Sasa kwa nini tunaharibu shule? Kama ni kupiga kura, tupige kura tundamane huko nje sio kuharibu sile vitu area yetu. Sasa area yetu tukiharibu bado sisi tutaingia kwa mfuko juu ya hiyo shule sasa hii watoto wakirudi kila kitu tutakutana hakuna. Unajua kama mimi ni boy hivi kitu naweza ambia maboys mtani. Tuachane nayo. Imeisha imeisha na Kenya ni kubwa kutushinda. Tuachane na maneno mingi, tuendelee na kazi zetu kama mandugu na marafiki. Residents have decrying what they termed excessive use of force by police in handling the protesters. A claim that Nairobi Regional Coordinator Bernard Leparmarai refutes, despite the Kenya National Commission on Human Rights reporting that 17 people had been killed by police in Nairobi. I can tell you the police did not kill anyone using bullets, alright? These people knew what they were doing, okay? So we are not aware. Let's wait. Let's see. Let's wait until we investigate how these people died. It could be natural death, right? It could be because of accident. It could be between those guys. Police further dismissing claims by opposition leaders that scores had been killed. In a statement to newsrooms, Inspector General Police Joseph Boynet said only six deaths had been recorded from across the country, all of whom he says were criminals who attacked police or were found looting. Boynet also promising to investigate the circumstances that led to the death of a nine-year-old girl in Mathari. With relative calm having been restored here in Kibra, some residents have taken it upon themselves to call on their fellow residents to ensure they maintain peace even as they demonstrate. Hassan Mugambi, Citizen TV, Kibra, Nairobi County.